Samsung is finally shifting its focus to the Galaxy A series and we now have some fresh updates on the upcoming Galaxy A57 5G. Now this might not excite everyone but yes Samsung is once again using a new Exynos chip in this phone. According to the reliable folks over at Galaxy Club, Samsung is working on a next generation mid-range processor. It is identified with the model number and it will likely be called the Exynos 1680 following the Exynos 1580 used in the Galaxy A56. The report also mentions that this new chip could feature the Xclipse 550 GPU which is possibly based on AMD's RDNA 3.5 architecture, the same tech being used in the Samsung's Exynos 2500 chip. While we don't yet know how much better the performance will be, we will likely get more details by late 2025. To be fair, I have hardly heard any complaints about the Exynos 1580 in the Galaxy A56. In fact, many users seem happy with how it performs. That shows Samsung is really putting effort into improving its mid-range chips. But yes, I understand why some fans are still skeptical. Exynos hasn't had the best reputation in the past. Still, when it comes to the A series, it looks like Samsung is seriously trying to optimize things year by year and the Exynos 1680 could be another step in that direction. For a quick recap, the Galaxy A56 gave us a faster processor, a better front camera, 10-bit Super HDR for photos and videos, a thinner and lighter design, and a fast 45W charging. So it is clear the Galaxy A57 will bring some upgrades too, although other details haven't been shared yet. Personally, I hope Samsung adds a telephoto camera to the Galaxy A57. Many Chinese brands now offer 2x or 3x optical zoom in their mid-range phones, so it would be great to see Samsung catch up. I also think a bigger battery, maybe around 6000 mAh, a 4K video recording at 60fps would be an awesome feature. I know it's a lot to ask, but hey, as a tech reviewer, I have to say it. And that's it for today's update on the Galaxy A57. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your tech-loving friends. So what do you think Samsung should add to the A57? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear from you. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.